Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is George, and this video it's about Astro Track. It's a follow-up for my last video when I spoke about Astro Track, how to modify it in order to be more easy to mount it and carry it. So now we'll be about aligning it using the QHI Pole Master, which I have it here. So I also want to show you that I replaced the original cable with this one. It's USB Type-C for my phone with the mini USB Type-B for the QHI because it's more easy to use and more lightweight and it also works with this camera. As you can see, I mounted my QHI camera on my AstroTrack Polar Arm and as you can see, it's mounted with the connection outside because this way I will have the image without being mirrored. So I recommend using like this and I will show you after this when I will have the stars available. I will show you the screen of my phone, how to align it using the QHI app for Android. So you have to make sure that you can move your arm like this. I don't know if the click is audible, but from this position, if I move it 30 degrees, I have to move it uh, two clicks. One is for 15 degrees, another one for 30 degrees. And also in the application, you will be asked to move it twice uh, around 30 degrees. So the second movement will be like this on the 60 degrees position. And after that, when the application will ask uh, you to, to follow the circle, you will go back four clicks. Another thing I wanted to show you, this is my power supply for the AstroTrack. It's a Bosch battery for a drilling machine. It's 12 volts with uh, 1.5 amps per hour. Uh, this is my go-to. It's also lightweight, portable. And I modified the AstroTrack cable, which is supplied with the AstroTrack. I cut the battery connector from the car and uh, put some fitments on the end of the cable and you have on the battery plus and minus and the blue one goes to minus and the brown one goes to the plus and I have to connect them like this now they're connected and after that I connect my Astro Track and power it on. Another thing that is very useful are these two parts. This one, it's an Ulanzi ST03 phone holder, which you can buy it from Amazon. I will put the link in the description. And also this clamp, to keep your uh, phone adapter and you have on I mean on my tripod I have these two holes one is with the adapter but I can fit it everywhere between these two holes you can connect the phone holder with this hole here to the double ball head okay and this end from the double ball head will go on the tripod like this in this position and now I can put my phone to be prepared for the alignment So this is the screen of the application and you see the stars and in the left you have some information 
and if you see the stars you can click continue now uh, you have uh, the information you have to be on north if you're in the northern hemisphere if you're in the southern hemisphere you have to click on south but we're on north you have to adjust the exposure and the gain for me these settings are okay in this case scenario now setup is complete after this you will see a screen where you have to click Polaris which is in the middle of the frame fine adjustment to be precise and with the slider you can move it in order to match the circles with the stars surrounding Polaris this is the correct setup in my case after you set up you press success the application asks if you want to use the last circle center usually I press cancel and also if you're using the application for the first time cancel now start position 1 and click the star in the figure as base star 1 ok you have to choose a star this will be the one fine adjustment okay carry out and now you have to rotate the polar arm around 30 degrees which is two clicks for the astro track okay rotation is complete now select the star 2 oh no you have to select the same star and remember it fine adjustment it should be okay carry out remember the position and move again 30 degrees like this and now rotation is complete now the position 3 of the star adjustments it's okay and now you have the green circle now basically your row alignment and now you have to do the the fine adjustment and now the equatorial instrument back to the initial position okay now you have to follow the star on the on the circle if it moves correctly if it follows the position so in this case it's very good now you have to uh, okay this is correct and now says uh, click the north star yeah this is the north star with some fine adjustments okay so now we have to see that all the stars you have also to move the circles to match the stars this is okay match complete so now you have this yellow cross and the, the red dot for the fine adjustment you have to move polaris in the yellow cross so for this you will have to move the mount from the wedge In order to position it okay the adjustment is complete now you have to click again Polaris which is in the yellow circle again now let's see the matching stars
this is the correct position so match success and now after pressing monitoring you see you have the red circle and the green circle you have to overlap these circles and then your adjustment is precise for me this is very okay and I will uh, show you again the monitoring so this is the north pole where is the red circle and here is Polaris and if you go again with monitoring you have the red circle aligned with the green circle and you're fine adjusted so you can track peacefully and have a clear sky thank you very much for your watching and have a good one